Thank you for joining me. I'm Alex and I want to talk about Unity software and I mainly want to talk about it because uh, someone at work mentioned it and I'm a sucker for interesting companies despite their financials. So what they do is they make game engines and obviously related stuff. Um, obviously um, with the revenue they have. Um, things are quite well known and widely used. So. Current price $151.98, which gives the market cap of $41 billion. Dividend is zero. I wouldn't expect that to change, um, especially considering the current uh, earnings. Revenue $542 million. Earnings negative $163 million. Um, and that gives them a PE of negative 252. So, um, Obviously, as you can see, their uh, market cap is about 100 times their revenue and uh, their earnings are not great. Total assets, $763 million. Total liabilities, $369 million, which gives them a total stockholders equity of $394 million. Um, so as far as balance sheets go, this one is pretty nice. Um, obviously, stockholders equity being again about 1% of their market cap um, is not great. So that doesn't have a great relation. But the assets to liabilities ratio is pretty nice. So I really like this. Risk factors. Um, I mean, obviously, there's a pretty decent chance that they um, run out of money. But with as big and well known as they are, I would expect them to be able to find people to finance them regardless of the current earnings. Um, so um, overall, um, obviously, there's nothing here for a dividend investor and obviously there's nothing here for a value investor because um, the earnings, even if they had that in the positive, um, would not reach 0.4% of their market cap. So um, nothing here for a value investor, obviously. So um, for a growth investor, I think the growth of 50-ish percent um, is nice. But considering the market cap is still 80-ish um, times the revenue, they would have to double their earnings for about a decade before um, the PE would approach a decent value or before the PE could approach a decent value. So um, overall, I don't think that um, even a value investor would find a decent valuation here. And so I guess the bottom line is don't buy the stock. That's it for me for today. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and come out with more videos every day before market open. I hope you have a successful day.